in 1918 at university in Ithaca, New York, Cornell, you bet that's Ivy League. There was a prof who was fed up with his students writing lines that were boring and unclear. So he said, I'll change their minds. My name is William Strunk Jr. And I know a thing or two about the art of composition and I'm fly too. So he wrote his magnum opus, The Elements of Style. It was an instant hit. He didn't have to wait a while for it to become the true Bible of the teachers and the writers making English language tighter and their usage so much writer. Well, this drunk guy had a student. His name was E.B. White, Charlotte's Web, Stuart Little. That's the guy, all right. But well, before E.B. became easily the greatest of all time and making me feel empathy for spiders of all kinds. He loved that little book of strunks and thought it was so fine. He edited it, put his name on it in 1959. These are the elements of style. You better use them while you're writing. Yeah, they're basic, but you're basic too, Kyle. You need a little help with words. That jersey is absurd. An Oxford shirt and some grammar hurt. Not a bit, I hope you heard. Get some style. Kyle. Let's begin with a thing that is tiny, but then it can major meaning and perfect confusion in a series of lists that's a string of items, super commas between them, the two at the end. This, of course, we all know as the Oxford comma, sartorial and grammatical convergence. No drama. If you put a comma between two independent clauses and expect me to full stop, I'll only breathe and pause and scream. This is a comma splice. Basic as pumpkin spice. Latte and I'm not a grammar not say, but it's nice to know when and where you're done saying what you have got to say. So use a period or semicolon, please okay? The inverse of this advice is additionally true. Don't use a period to split a sentence into two. And please recall the number of the subject and the verb must agree and be syntactically parallel and undisturbed by a difference in a singular or plural assignation. Am I losing you with my lyrics and my concatenations? These are the elements of style. You better use them while you're writing. Yeah, they're basic, but you're basic too, Kyle. You need a little help with words. That jersey is absurd. An Oxford shirt and some grammar hurt. Not a bit, I hope you heard. Your participles dangling and the language you are mangling. While your verbiage needs some wrangling and your syntax disentangling. You think a pair of Roshis apropos for formal dress. Please tell me, bro, why aren't you wearing Oxfords? Yo, I can't resist, man. What are those? The way you write, the way you dress and need some work. I must confess, I know I am prescriptive. Yes, be more descriptive. You're a mess, but don't look so disconsolate. There's still some hope for you. Just get a copy of this book and set yourself to the task of reading. It. You can get some style, Kyle. The voice of all your writing should be phrased using the active. That means the subject's doing stuff and not just being passive. And your structure must be parallel, which geometrically means parts of your sentence should look like other parts you see. And if you're writing about something that has happened in the past, WIDs shifting tense and giving me whiplash. And finally, omit those words that aren't pulling their weight. They might be fancy, so articulate, but don't make writing great. Brevity, Kyle is the soul of wit, and that's why I'm finished with this.